All right, let's have a look at Danny's data. And this is Bridges Math, fourth grade, unit six. And we're kind of combining things we've done before, like data and things like the range, minimum, maximum. And also now we're working in fractions. So we're doing kind of both of those together. So we're gonna start with the range of the data. Now please remember the range is the minimum, which we see here. Uh, and the difference between that and the maximum, which is here. So what is the range here? Now I'll show you a couple ways you can do this. The simplest way is to simply count the difference on your number line. So we have eighths here. So that's one eighth, two eighths, three, four, five, six. Keep counting how many eighths are there. And it's gonna end up being greater than one. So then you can change it into a mixed number, like so. You can also just use um, your subtraction. So you could do five and seven eighths minus four and two eighths, like that, and figure out what is the difference. Or one other option is if you wanna change those into um, improper fractions first, then you can subtract them like that, and so on. So there's three different ways you can figure out the range for that one. Next up, we're talking about the median. Let me do this in red so you can see the difference. This is the middle value. One mistake I see people make with this is they just look at these numbers and figure out, oh, they're like, oh, five is in the middle, so five is the median. But these numbers are not what we're looking for the middle of. We're looking for the middle of these X's here. So we kind of have to go back and forth to find the middle number. So I'll just go back and forth. One, two, three, four. There's two, two more, da, da. And there I found the middle number. There's two of them, which is this one here. So that's gonna be the median because you have those two numbers that are the uh, median. Okay, and then the mode is whatever is the highest one. So look at all these, which has the most X's? Pretty simple to figure that one out. And then what fraction of the 12 worms were less than five inches long? Okay, so less than five is going to happen right here. So, so for this one, the interesting thing is, it says what fraction? So there's 12 worms total. So how many were less than five? Well, one, two, three, four. So the answer would be four twelfths, or you can write that in a different way if you want to. What fraction of the worms were longer than four and seven eighths, but shorter than five and five eighths? Okay, all right, so I've got longer than four and seven eighths this way, and shorter than five and five eighths. So let me make another mark there. I'll do this one in green too shorter than five and five eighths would be this way, right? So how many X's do you see between these two green lines? And that's gonna be out of 12. And finally, what fraction were more than five inches long? So here's five, that doesn't count, more than five. So let me do this one in black. Now we're going this way. How many are more than five? How many out of 12? Just count the X's there. Okay. Finally, Danny's putting worms together. Two shortest worms end to end, and then the longest and shortest worm end to end. So what we need to do, the two shortest would be four and two eighths, I see. And the second shortest is four and five eighths. So if you put those together, how long would they be? And then the longest and the shortest, so again, we have four and two eighths. The longest is five and seven eighths. So you need to add those together to figure out what it would be. And I think for seven, if you just add the whole numbers, four plus four, and then you add the fractions, you should be okay. But this other one is a little bit trickier, so let's see this. Okay, if we add four and five, we are going to get nine, right? But if we add two eighths and seven eighths together, that's going to give us um, nine eighths, right? 
and we can't have 9 and 9 eighths. So change 9 eighths to a mixed number and then add that to 9. So what's 9 plus 1 and 1 eighth? And then you're going to have the final answer. It's going to be that. All right, let's have a look at this next page here. And we're doing more of the same thing. OK, so for some of these, we can just simply uh, add the whole numbers. <clears throat> so 2 plus 4, and then add the fractions, 1 third plus 2 thirds. Then what are you going to get here? 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 third plus 2 third is 3 thirds, right? Then you have to know that 3 thirds is 1. So 6 plus 1 is basically going to be 7. All right, for these other ones, that same method should be okay. Just subtract or add the whole numbers, subtract or add the fractions, and put them together. You might have some mixed number trickery down here like we did up here, but you can figure that out at this point, I think. Uh, for these here, I'm gonna show you another method you could use, possibly use for these um, to solve these. So one way to do this is to put this into improper fractions first. So. If I did uh, 7 times 8 plus 4 into sevenths, then I did the same thing with 3 and 5 sevenths. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 5. Then I could subtract that and then put it back into a mixed number. The other thing you can do, though, is a little, just try a little number line for subtraction. So if I had 3 and 5 sevenths, how much more would I need to get to 4? I would need 2 sevenths more. And then if I needed to go to 8, I would do four more, right? And then if I needed to get to four eight and four sevenths, that's another four sevenths. So I can just add those up and get the answer to that one. That's gonna be really helpful for this last one here. Look at this, so if I had 19 and seven eighths, how much more do I need to get to 20? It's only one eighth away, right? And then, how much more would I need to get to 20 and 1 8? It's not much. So once you figure that out, the answer is very simple. You don't have to do all of the other converting and changing fractions. You can just keep it simple for those. OK, so we're already up over seven minutes with this, and I don't like these to be too long. So I'm going to say number 10, challenge. Uh, do it if you can, but if you don't want to skip it, if you want to skip it, that's fine because this is a more challenging uh, home connection tonight. So that's good enough for now. Try the challenge if you want to. If not, that's fine. And thank you.